Hi, my name is Chandler Jones. My student ID is 3368603 and we're in the fall of 2019 semester. Hello, I'm here with Dahlia and we're here to demonstrate a lateral saphenous venipuncture, which Ms. Dahlia will have to be in lateral recumbency for. Um, lateral meaning on her side, recumbency meaning laying down. In order for us to get her in this position, you'll have to bring your arm that's closest to the front of her over and grip the leg closest to your body and then bring this one over and grab the hind leg closest to your body. You're going to slowly slide them down your body onto the table safely and keep your arm behind the head to maintain control and keep them from biting, moving, keeping them immobile basically. You'll keep both legs with this front arm and your arm behind your head and this one on these two legs. When it is time for the vena puncture, you're going to want to hold off behind the knee. Um, the vein does run proximal to the hock and distal to the stifle, and you can see it here. Once the vena puncture gets the blood, you're going to want to hold off on the spot for 30 seconds to prevent bruising, bleeding of any kind. And once that is done, you can release the hind legs, slowly release the front, and get her back up. And that was how you. Hello, I am here with Dahlia, and we are here to show you a cephalic vena puncture. Um, which she'll have to be in sternal recumbency for. Sternal is in regards to the chest, more specifically the sternum, and recumbency is lying down. So we will want her chest against the table, um, and we will see if she will lie down with us with commands. If not, you'll want to maintain control of the head and grab both legs and slide them out. And you will want her towards the end of the table. So let's see. always maintain control of the head. You can slowly let up both paws. With this hand, you will want to grab behind the elbow on her, her left leg, which will force the leg out. Once you have that, you will encircle the leg with your thumb and for your thumb and your pointer finger. Um, and the cephalic vein runs upon the dorsal aspect of the foreleg. And what you'll need to do is put some pressure on the vein and then rotate your hand laterally to have the vein show or pop out, I guess, um, for the venipuncturist. And once they get the blood, you will want to hold off on this site for about 30 seconds to prevent bruising, bleeding of any kind. And once that is all done, you can slowly let go of the leg, let go of her head, but also maintain control somewhat and let her up. Hi, I am here with Chester and we're here to demonstrate a medial saphenous blood draw, well venipuncture I should say. Um, and he'll have to be in lateral recumbency for that. Lateral is on the side, recumbency is laying down, which she's already doing. So I will just have to get him on his side and I will demonstrate how to do that. Um, it's kind of difficult to do it while they're laying down. I try to do it while he's standing up a little bit for me. Um, what you'll typically need to do is keep control of the head. I would bring this hand under, grab the leg closest to your body, bring this hand under and grab the other leg closest to your body and slowly slide him down your body and maintain control of all legs and keep your arm in behind the jaw, behind the head area to maintain control. Um, what you'll want to do is keep hold of both back legs and front legs. When you're ready for the venipuncture, what you'll do is you're going to grab the two top, the one top leg and his tail, push in on his belly, and then you should have someone that can help hold out the leg for you. And once that is done, you will put pressure down onto the leg or karate chop <laughs> down, and that should bring the vessel up for the vena puncture. And the vessel runs down the medial aspect of the inner leg. And once you're done, they will let go. You can hold off where the blood was drawn and hold for about 30 seconds to prevent bruising and bleeding. And once that's done, you can safely release his hind legs, release his front, keep hold of his head, and let him up. I am here with Chester and we are going to demonstrate a cephalic vena puncture, which you'll have to get them in sternal recumbency for. Sternal is in regards to the chest, so sternum more particularly, you want the chest lying on the table. Um, so we'll have to get Chester into laying down position safely, which he is pretty good about. You will want to bring him to the end of the table and maintain control of the head. You're going to want to get this hand behind the elbow to stretch the leg outwards. Once you get that done, you'll want to turn your thumb inward 
and press on this phallic vein, which runs on the top most of the top, I should say, of the in, of the front leg. You'll want to place pressure and then rotate your hand laterally. That will occlude the vein and pop it out for the venipuncturist to draw the blood. Once the blood is drawn, you will want to put pressure on the site for 30 seconds to prevent bruising, bleeding, anything like that, and then slowly let go of the front leg and allow the cat to move backwards and safely to you.